In this modern era of frenzied technology and mass overstimulation, our capacity for patient presence stands as a sort of endangered species. We are relentlessly conditioned to crave instantaneous gratification, slaking our thirst for new information, entertainment and accomplishments with finger swipe alacrity. Yet the hasty soul pays a dear price, forever outpacing their own footsteps. Recklessly hurtling ahead, they careen obliviously past the gardens of wisdom, found only in cultivating the still mind's watchful poise. They resign untold acres of their inner peace daily to struggle's fevered pitches rather than patience's clarion calls. On this path, however, you shall discover an ancient way to reclaim mastery over your own fulfillment. You shall bear witness to the timeless teachings that enabled history's greatest thinkers and leaders to wield the supreme fortitude required to move worlds, all by honoring the deceptively simple art of simply waiting. You'll find that patience is no inert void to merely endure. It is an awakened state of living freedom, the headspace to calmly assess circumstances, align with truth's signals, and ultimately steer your life's unfolding from its highest vantage. So prepare to don patience's crystalline lenses and gain true vision over what matters most. Before we begin, I would appreciate your support. Don't forget to click like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any posts. If you like the theme of this video, please comment plus one. And if you don't like it, then comment zero. We look forward to hearing your feedback. Number one, patience and impatience. True patience is the hallmark of a rational mind, one that is not perturbed by the twists and turns of fate, but maintains tranquility by understanding what is within our control and what is not. Impatience, on the other hand, stems from being ruled by our unbridled passions and desires rather than sober reason. Impatience is a form of greed, expecting more than can be attained from life. The impatient person wants things their way right now, heedless of the natural unfolding of events. This inevitably leads to frustration, anxiety and anger when reality does not bend to their whims. They are like a child throwing a tantrum, unable to delay gratification. In contrast, the patient person recognizes that some things are simply beyond our control. The changing seasons, the behaviors of others and the vicissitudes of fortune. Rather than railing against the inevitable, they accept what cannot be changed with equanimity. This frees their mind from useless anguish. While impatience seeks to force its will onto the world through sheer willpower alone, the sage knows there is profound power in strategic inaction, waiting for the right opening, carefully watching events unfold, and biding one's time. As the Taoist metaphor reminds us, it is the bendable willow that survives the mightiest windstorm, not the rigid oak. Moreover, patience enables us to make wiser decisions beyond the distorting impulses of the moment. Whenever a challenge or setback arises, the impatient react with their first upset emotion, lashing out, despairing or quitting prematurely. However, the patient can step back, retain perspective and respond with greater objectivity from a place of calm intent. So do you wish to move steadily towards your aims with resilience and reason, or fruitlessly exhaust yourself in agitated fits and starts? The choice is yours, the path of patient mastery or intemperate weakness. Patience is the key to joy. There is no flower that is not first seed and then a frail plant before it burgeons into full bloom. How will you cultivate its precious fruit? Benefit number one, the natural flow. Too often we become entangled in doubts and overthinking when faced with key decisions or challenges. 
our racing minds conjure up endless what-ifs, causing us to spin in mental circles rather than taking wise action. This frenzied state is the antithesis of the patience prescribed by Stoic philosophy. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. When we can step back and view situations with the calm objectivity patience provides, we avoid mindless reactivity. We gain the mental space to carefully consider circumstances from a grounded, rational framework. Patience clears the waters of the mind, allowing the silt of fears, desires and false assumptions to settle so we can see events clearly. Only then can we formulate purposeful responses in harmony with the unfolding of the present moment. The natural flow of cause and effect, ebb and flux that governs the universe. As an illustration, imagine you are a ship captain calmly surveying incoming conditions as storms brew on the horizon. Your impatient crew rashly demands setting sail immediately to reach port before nightfall. But you know hasty action could prove catastrophic. With patience you pause, study the shifting winds and currents, and realize a wiser course is to delay departure until a clearing emerges, riding out the tumult from the safe harbor. Likewise, in our daily lives, patience allows us to gather insights before rushing into decisions that could lead to disaster. Perhaps delaying a response to frustrating co-workers is prudent to avoid fueling conflicts. Holding off on major purchases lets us research with due diligence rather than impulsive spending. As the sage Aristotle reminded, patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. Whenever feeling consumed by fretful indecision or pressure to act rashly, pause and call upon the stoic virtue of patience. Take the purposeful pause to gain perspective on circumstances beyond your frantic monkey mind's antics. It is only by attaining this elevated view that you can align your wise actions with life's ceaseless natural flows. Benefit number two, wiser, more rational decisions. How much of our anger, misery and turmoil stems from the vice of impatience? We foolishly expect circumstances to unfold according to our whims, bristling with irritation when plans go awry or others do not behave as we wish. This disconnect between reality and our desires is the root cause of many bitter emotional upsets. As I learned early in my study of philosophy, it's not events themselves that disturb people, but the judgments they form about them. How liberating to realize that while we cannot control every situation life throws our way, we can control how we respond through cultivating patience. The patient person recognizes that some things lie beyond the sphere of their influence, the actions of others, the unpredictable winds of fortune, the unfolding of the cosmic web. Rather than raging against these realities, they accept what cannot be changed with tranquil indifference. Their minds remain unperturbed, like still waters. Conversely, the impatient lack this discerning wisdom. They ceaselessly butt their heads against the unalterable, anxiously trying to bend the universe to their misbegotten expectations. This simply breeds needless vexation, sapping their strength and clarity of mind. You will have a perpetual struggle, inconsistent with inward tranquility, I reminded my students. Far better to relinquish attachments to how you think the world should operate. When facing setbacks or frustrations, pause, breathe, and realign your perspective with patience. Maintain your composure by investing energy only in what you can control. For like a sailor skillfully tacking their vessel and making way between the shifting winds and tides they cannot master, the sage navigates life's challenges with judicious patience. They reserve their focus for applying reason, choice and effort where it can truly shape outcomes in their intentional actions, mindset and responses. Only through such steadfast patience rooted in Stoic philosophy can one attain that hallowed state of judicious equanimity. The world's currents may churn, 
but your mind's waters remain placid, able to chart your wisest course. Benefit number three, equanimity. We must accept a foundational truth that the thoughts, actions and whims of others lie outside our direct control. Just as we cannot command the sun's rising or the autumnal leaf's falling, we have no sovereignty over the free will of our fellow humans. They will behave as they are inclined based on their own flawed natures and mistaken judgments. The impatient person rails against this inevitable fact, fuming when parents, spouses, co-workers or neighbors fail to act in perfect accordance with their desires and expectations. They should know better, they protest, forgetting that we are all imperfect works in progress on the long road to understanding. But the sage understands that to expect others to embody our vision of how they ought to be is a recipe for ceaseless vexation. As Epictetus wisely counseled, there is only one way to happiness, and that is to cease worrying about things which are beyond the power of our will. Through the fullness of patience, we cease impotent struggles to reform others' innate characters and mindsets. We accept them for who and where they currently are on their respective philosophical journeys, loving them despite their trespasses against our preferences. For all our divine's works in progress deserving of compassion. This is not to validate or enable harmful behaviors, but to recognize our limited capacity to single-handedly transform others through sheer force of angered impatience. The more gracious path lies in first seeking to understand their perspectives and motivations, walking a mile in their sandals, as the adage instructs. Patience fosters this empathetic outlook by tempering our predisposition to rush to premature judgment. Rather than lashing out, we tap the reservoir of tolerance, opening our minds to the possibility that we may lack full context for their actions. Even if those deeds strike us as unenlightened, we allow space for people to eventually self-correct through their own realizations. For at the end of each life's journey, we all shall stand vulnerable before the Divine's judgment. Who are we to declare any soul utterly beyond redemption while still traversing these corporeal pathways? Far better to extend the generosity of patience, that quality which allows others to catch up with us in the pursuit of the highest life, as I wrote. From this bedrock of patience blossoms the crowning virtue of stoic equanimity, an imperturbable inner refuge where one retains perfect tranquility and ease of mind despite any external turmoils. Truly, patience is the gateway to unconditional acceptance, empathy, forgiveness and abiding peace. Does this not provide ample motivation to diligently cultivate its strengths? Benefit number four, perseverance and success. How many noble aims and worthy ambitions wither on the vine due to the toxic seeds of impatience? So often we embark on challenging pursuits, mastering a skill, building a business, forging a fitter physique with grand aspirations. Yet when results prove slower in materializing than our hurried hopes demand, that initial zeal turns to disillusionment and surrender. How long must I endure this arduous labor with no rewards? The impatient cry, childishly expecting life's greatest prizes to be hastily delivered. They fail to grasp that virtually all durable attainments, be they wealth, wisdom, or martial excellence, demand unwavering persistence over the long march of time. The patient person, however, recognizes that the unfolding of achievement is an organic process, unrushed like the gradual rise of the oak from a humble acorn. Just as farmers cannot physically haul their crops from the soil through willpower alone, we must respectfully work within the unhurried cadences of growth and struggle intrinsic to the natural world. Make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. While we govern our daily dedicated efforts and stillness of mind, the ultimate flowering of those seeds lies beyond our absolute mastery. 
a litany of uncontrollable variables, luck, timing, ever-shifting circumstances, all influence outcomes. What remains in our dominion is the virtue of steadfast patience itself. With it, we consciously release the fruitless craving to accelerate an undertaking's unfolding through mere anxious wanting. We shelve impetuous thoughts of abandoning the very journey before it can fully manifest. We abstain from errant mental detours, wondering if the coveted destination is worth the protracted journey. No, instead, we persist with trusting patience, knowing that what currently sprouts as minor shoots from the soil, be they fledgling business metrics or lifting plateaus, will ultimately bear exponential yields with proper nourishing perseverance over seasons. For as the wise poet Rumi beckoned, patience is the key that solves all problems. Let this then be our highest ambition to remain unwavering in patience, outlasting all obstacles and setbacks through steady committed toil. Those who can fortify this virtue have already conquered the principal enemy of human achievement, themselves. Success thereafter becomes not a mere possibility, but an eventuality. Benefit number five, tolerance for others. In this sprawling cosmos of ours, what a miraculous tapestry of diversity exists among the myriad cultures, creeds, and dispositions of humankind. Like an infinite rainbow of hues, each individual shines forth their own unique emanation of divine sparks. What causes wonderment is that from the same spiritual source, such a kaleidoscope of distinct personas and proclivities could arise. Yet all too often, we allow our puny personal perspectives and prejudices to blind us to this underlying essence of unity. We look upon those who think, believe, or behave differently and recoil in judgment, crying, wrong, other, threat. Impatience governs our outlook, fueling reactivity towards any variation from our own familiar thought ways. Pause and consider, however, the sheer vanity and ignorance of such knee-jerk rejection. Have you truly lived enough lifetimes, worn enough karmic guises, to arrogate the role of arbitrating the validity of another's sacred walk? As I once wrote, everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. The patient soul recognizes that just as no two trees in the forest are identical, neither are any two human spirits and sojourns through this incarnate realm meant to perfectly mirror one another. We are all students, all pilgrims participating in the same shared lesson, awakening to our consubstantial divity through the complementary diversity of our experiences. With the eyes of unhurried patience, we bear compassionate witness to the full resplendent spectrum of our unified human drama playing out. Each soul is granted their own hero's journey of triumphs and travails, their own unique timing of shedding limed perspectives for enlightened ones. How unbecoming to stand in premature, condescending judgment as if we somehow possess all context for another's actions and mindsets. The patient person appreciates the ultimate unknowability of any individual's full karmic ledger and soul curriculum guiding their paths. And they graciously allow space for each to authentically walk their own sacred way without unsolicited interference or denigration. Patience endures all things and enduring all things understands them. Since patience understands, it waits, and by waiting, endures. So rather than indulging our default impatience towards others' deviations from our arbitrary norms and preconceptions, we adopt an uncommon open-mindedness. We cultivate genuine curiosity to understand the diverse lenses through which our siblings in spirit view this grand unified play we're all co-creating. From such fertile patience arises profound tolerance 
an expansive embrace of our shared human family in all its triumphs, flaws, and fascinating multiplicities. We honor the holistic necessity of unity through discord, wisdom through folly, light through shadow on this mystical voyage of collective awakening. If your heart yet harbors intolerance towards any fellow wayfarers, I bid you release judgment's strained posture and breathe into patience's spacious equanimity. There you shall discover the great truth that we are not merely tolerable to one another. We are one indivisibly, each a sacred facet of the infinite divine jewel rhapsodizing existence's grandest song. Through our studied contemplations, you have reawakened to an elemental human superpower, the ability to remain rooted in a calm, focused presence amidst life's whirling tempests. No longer adrift on the churning tides of urgency and reactivity, you now hold sovereignty over your state of consciousness itself. For in patience's sweet alchemy, you have forged an impenetrable bulwark of equanimity against the eternal sway of external forces beyond your command. While none can halt cruel fate's unpredictable winds, you have donned the philosopher's cloak, shielding your inner realm from their relentless battery. From this centering calm arises a new vista, one of expanded awareness where you plainly perceive the natural unfolding of existence as it is, not distorted through attachment's illusory wants. Decisions and actions, once rushed and reactive, now arise from sober discernment aligning effort with universal reason's providence. Most preciously, patience has unveiled the ultimate truth that your happiness resides not in fruitless crusades to subdue reality to your willful designs, but in embracing its perpetual flux with a peaceful, abiding acceptance. By ceasing to wage war with the immutable, you paradoxically increase your power as a co-participant in existence's great cosmic dance. Go forth now as the master of your mind's domain. Live each rising moment as the timeless sage, upholding patience's exemplary virtues, steadfast perseverance, empathetic tolerance, and humble deference to what you cannot control. In doing so, you become living testament to the supreme strength found in stillness and the indomitable freedom granted to those who wait well.